Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Today I'm going to be working on this 12 by 12 birchwood wood panel. And I'm using um, Easy Sculpt Resin parts A and B to create borders for a geode that I want to create on here. Um, I'm going to cover the whole thing in this acrylic flow paint by artist loft my main color is going to be coral I'm actually using uh, a coral blush and coral shell by deco art so quickly giving this two coats of the white just to seal it in a little bit um, now I've already put down my base layers here of the colors that I'm using. They're in the center. You'll see the um, coral shell. And then uh, the next ring is Deco Art uh, 24 karat gold. And then I have the Deco Art coral blush. Then a next ring of white. And then I start over with the uh, coral shell and go out to the edges. Right now I am putting down a layer of uh, resin. I am using stone coat quick coat resin. So you only have a 15 minute work time with this uh, particular resin. And so I am making small batches and doing these rings one at a time just so that I don't have it setting up too quickly on me because when it says 15 minutes it means 15 minutes so I like the depth of uh, putting a dark over a light or putting a light over a dark it gives you a dimensional look um, I did try putting the coral blush over the coral blush right there but it just I didn't like it you couldn't see it so I come back in with a um, another clear layer here and then I'm going to swirl in some coral blush over this again for the just for the depth perception here and then when I do the gold I will be using um, stone coat gold dust mixed with um, the resin and it really gives it a really beautiful shimmery shine um, over the white I use Jacquard's Pearl X micro pearl and I even use some of this mixed in with the coral blush um, and mingled it in here I apologize but my camera storage was full I didn't realize it when I actually laid down the other layers of resin and the rings of glitter so um, I have used a gold uh, glitter around the white rings and then around the gold ring that is actually a peach color glitter but next to the coral there it looks more uh, pinkish but I still like it it gives another color element and really stands out so um, I think it looks pretty cool also I wanted my glitter and the stones that I'm fixing to put on here um, to stand kind of above the surface um, I didn't want them totally embedded into my uh, resin so um, I built the resin up in between my borders so that the uh, stones and then that second layer of glitter would um, be coated with resin but not a, embedded in it if you ever break open a geode it's not a smooth unless you cut it so I wanted that kind of textury feel 
in in my rings here. Um, I've already laid down the stones there. I am going to add those little crystals into the very center and I'm just going to pile them up in there so that it will give it another uh, textural look to it. So my sides are still taped off here. Um, I wanted my resin to stay on top uh, of the board and you'll see in a minute where I did do the sides I used the coral blush as a base color and then I used gold leafing um, that I laid on there with Jerry's um, medium and varnish and then once that dried I come back with resin and uh, covered the sides up and my resin started to cure while I was doing that and um, I had to work quickly and it turned out to be not smooth and um, at first I thought well I'll just sand it down and then just give it a little bit of a flood coat there but after it cured I really liked how it wasn't just completely smooth around there because it just carried the the textural look from the top over onto the sides so I left it I like it <laughs> so this thing really really sparkles um, I wished you could see it in real life um, and I will do a close-up here in a minute but it just it's glittery it's sparkly it's shimmery and shiny I, I really like how it turned out so while I'm doing this I'm just going to use say if you have enjoyed watching this video um, when it is finished just click like and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet um, click that subscribe button and if you ring the bell you'll be notified when I upload my future videos any questions or comments or if you have suggestions um, leave them below I'll be glad to to read them and to respond to you. So I'm going to take you in for a close up here. Still haven't done my side yet. I'll show you that in just a second. But I just want you to see how the swirls and the shimmering looks, that gold just pops and sparkles, the glitter. And that gold glitter is actually a. Um, chunky and then just a regular uh, fine glitter mixed together. The stones I used was a peach color stone and then um, a clear and gold colored uh, that's mixed together. In the center there is the little acrylic crystals that I used and I really like the way they sparkle and shine and reflect off the light. And here is a finished view of it. The sides are done. The tape is gone as you can see and I'll show you the side in a minute. I love this. That coral is just gorgeous. This is like I said not a smooth top. I like the texture as it stands out. This is a heavy piece because of all the stones that I used and um, the four layers of resin, but it is a it, it is a pretty piece. You can see the pearl X as it uh, swirls into the coral there. I did that in my final top coat just to add some more depth to the color. And here's the side. You can see that the gold leafing does not go all the way to the bottom. 
I did that on purpose. I just wanted it to look like it was an overflow of all the richness from the top flowing over the sides. That shimmering of that stone coat gold dust is amazing. <laughs> you can see the shimmer of the pearl X there. glitter of the or reflection of the light on the glitter the whole piece just sparkles I love it so I want to thank you for watching my video I know this is longer than I usually do um, I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video Thank you so much. Bye-bye.